Okay, so I had ordered a bunch of uh, 16 by 2 LCDs from Amazon. I bought several from different vendors, and they all worked, except for the two that came in the same package. It was a two-pack, and something weird is going on. It's not working. It's crashing my I-squared C bus on my Arduino. So I'm going to try and troubleshoot this and see if we can possibly fix these without having to send them back, because they were cheap. They were I think they were $10 for two, so eh, it's... I don't know if it's worth sending them back. So I'm going to do a little troubleshooting and see if we can try and figure this out. All right, so these are the LCDs I had bought. And I just got the converter board for the serial to I-square C. And they were pretty cheap. Like I said, about two of them for $10. And this is the manufacturer's tag. And I'm just running a program on my microcontroller just to scan for the I squared C ports. And I, I mean, right now it's just a, a blank yellow screen. And I've run other programs and it's all, always a blank yellow screen. So then I decided to scan the port. It should be an OX27 address. And when I go to scan the port, let's see what happens here. It just gets stuck here scanning. And it won't find it. No matter what. So if I unplug it, plug it back in, it just says unknown error at address OX01, which is just a bunch of garbage. But if I plug in, let's go back here. If I plug in just a board, I have a bag of these. These are dirt cheap. Just the I squared C serial converter board on this network. Let's see what it, that does. And there it is. It found it. So it's an OX27 address. So what I'm thinking is maybe the board's are on the back are junk so hopefully I can just take these and just swap the boards out and everything will be okay I don't know that's what I'm gonna find out I don't think it's gotten past to the point where it's actually actually talking to the LCD so I think the problem is the board and I mean they, they look similar I mean these are made by many different manufacturers but the the, the lettering, the, I mean, everything, this is some slight differences, so maybe it's just they just junk converter boards. All right, so this is a few days later. I've decided to contact the seller and ask him what he wanted to do about this situation. I told him that they were defective, and he decided to send me out two new boards. New boards, so um, we're going to try them out. They did come in sealed uh, anti-static bag, so I'm hoping that they work. <laughs> I opened them up, and... <laughs> I just can't believe what I'm seeing. Well, I can, but uh, if I look on the edge of this board here, let me throw up my other. You'll see that there's like solder blobs hanging off of this LED backlight display board here. It's like hanging off. Like it says Q QA passed. QA passed my ass. That is ridiculous. Unbelievable. How did that pass QA? Ugh. And this one, ugh, the soldering is just terrible. Look at this. It looks like it's just amateur hour here. I mean, I, you know that there's, they're manufacturing the board and they're hand soldering these to assemble them, but there's no way I, 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 that anybody's testing these boards or, or QA. Oh, and look at this look how close those pins are to touching that circuit board down there I, I don't know if you can see that but it, it looks like it's almost shorting out up against pins that are on the back of this board I don't have confidence that these are gonna work at all I, I have not tested these yet I want to do it right here uh, for the first time I just pulled them out of the bag so I still have the other two I was screwing with here and those were no good so Let's hook up the first one and hope we don't short anything out. I, I don't know. So, all right, so let's plug this in. Press the reset button. 
Ugh. You gotta be kidding me. All right, so this one kind of half works. It's got, so at least we know the I squared C board is working. I have some of my text here that I've programmed in and it fades into some blocks and whatnot. So uh, this one's obviously junk as well. well. At least I know the back, you know, uh, I squared C board is okay, but I still, uh, just, that just bugs the hell out of me. All right, let's try the other one. Press reset. <laughs> all blocks. What are these all rejects? I mean, give me a break. You know, and it, what really chaps my ass is it says QC, QA pass on the back of the board in in the silk screen of the design of the board. H how are you passing that? How it's not like a sticker where they're like, yes, we tested it, it passed. They're passing it on the circuit board level. I, uh, I mean, what do you think? We're idiots? Uh, I don't know. Obviously, if we're, <laughs> we must be idiots if we keep buying it, but <laughs> what else are we going to do? Um, yeah, so I don't know. I might try to make one good one out of all four of these if, I, if it's possible, but these look like they're all just rejects from uh, or just a, a bad batch. I, I don't know, but this is just the quality uh, assurance is uh, very uh, well non-existent in, in this case, so... I mean, like, we're talking cheap stuff, but, uh, you know, this stuff adds up. You know, I paid $10 for these two, and, you know, they expect you to work. I mean, luckily with Amazon, you have protection. I mean, it's uh, eBay, if you're ordering stuff from China directly, eh, that might be iffy, depending on the seller and uh, their feedback rating and whatnot. But Amazon's pretty good. You usually, can, if you can't get somewhere with the seller, usually you can make a resolution with Amazon itself, which, uh, you know, it's still a pain in the butt, so... But, uh, so yeah, I got four junk modules, so I'm going to have to notify the seller and say, hey, listen, uh, yeah, these are junk and ditch your stock. <laughs> Get a new vendor. I, I don't know. But, you know, this is just, uh, you know, another video that I'm just, I'm just playing around here tonight. Um, and that's it. I, I didn't, uh, I didn't have any special outcome of this video. I just wanted to just throw a video out there and, you know, just show you guys what I've been working on. And I got a couple projects here on the bench that I'm going to be uh, bringing up to the channel pretty soon. So uh, it should be fun. So we'll see you soon um, with some new content. Have a good night.